Some of the world's richest and most successful people didn't start out that way. They spent nights sleeping on the streets, in their cars, or on friends' couches. Some of these celebrities struggled with addiction or trying to make it on their own while pursuing their dreams. Here are 10 people who became wealthy after being homeless. Number 10. Dr. Phil According to Parade, when Phil McGraw, a.k.a. Dr. Phil, was 12 years old, he was homeless. He lived in a car in Kansas City with his father, who was interning as a psychologist. McGraw later went on to obtain his own bachelor's, master's, and Ph.D., and he joined his father's psychology practice in Texas. In the 1990s, Oprah Winfrey invited McGraw to appear on her show. He later became a regular on Oprah and eventually launched his own syndicated advice program. Number 9. Holly Berry When she moved to New York to become an actress at age 21, Berry ran out of money, and her mother decided the best thing would be to not send her daughter more cash, people reported. During this period, the actress said she stayed in a homeless shelter. In an interview with Reader's Digest, Barry said, It taught me how to take care of myself and that I could live through any situation, even if it meant going to a shelter for a small stint or living within my means, which were meager. I became a person who knows that I will always make it my own way. Number 8. James Cameron When Cameron was writing The Terminator, he was barely making ends meet, even living in his car for a time, according to IGN. But his main concern at the time wasn't money. He was determined to direct his screenplay despite his limited experience. When he pitched The Terminator at meetings, the production company said they liked the script, but they didn't like the idea of him being in charge. Cameron persevered and partnered with producer Gail Ann Hurd, who bought the rights to the screenplay for $1 and named Cameron the director. The film went on to make $78 million worldwide. Number 7. Chris Pratt Pratt turned heads with his transition from lovable funny guy Andy Dwyer on Parks and Recreation to action hero Owen Grady in Jurassic World. But that's not the only major transition the actor's gone through. At age 19, Pratt accepted a one-way ticket to Maui, Hawaii from a friend and set up a humble abode in a flea and mice-infested van, a setup that he told The Independent was pretty awesome. We just drank and smoked weed and worked minimal hours, 15 to 20 hours per week, just enough to cover gas, food, and fishing supplies, Pratt said. You know it was a charming time. That same year, actress Ray Don Chong met Pratt when he was waiting tables at the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company in Maui, took note of his good looks, and cast him in her directorial debut, Cursed Part 3. The moment she told me she was bringing me to L.A., I knew, he said. I was like... This is what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. Number 6. Jim Carrey According to the biography Jim Carrey, the comedian dropped out of high school and lived in a VW bus with his family parked in different places throughout Canada. They eventually moved into a tent on his older sister's lawn and parked the van in the driveway. Carrey said it was during these tough financial times growing up when he developed a sense of humor. Number 5. Chris Gardner Aside from a movie based on his life starring Will Smith, Gardner also has two New York Times bestselling books under his belt. His autobiography, The Pursuit of Happiness, and Start Where You Are, Life Lessons in Getting from Where You Are to Where You Want to Be. But before his story was shared with the world, Gardner was living on the streets with his young son. At the time, he was trying to pursue a career in finance, despite not having any experience in it or even a college degree. He received a spot in the Dean Witter Reynolds training program, but could not afford to live off the small salary, and his wife eventually left him. Today, Gardner is a motivational speaker and CEO of Gardner Rich LLC, with offices in New York, Chicago, and San Francisco. Number 4. Shania Twain Before going on to win five Grammy Awards, Shania Twain was homeless. According to Time, she grew up in an abusive household and spent time in a Toronto homeless shelter along with her mother and siblings. Twain writes about this experience in her memoir, From This Moment On. In the 2011 publication, she writes, Mom got out of the car to use a payphone while we sat and waited in the car. Returning a few minutes later with a piece of paper on which she scribbled the address of a homeless shelter, that night, we slept in a crowded, 
sweltering place on cot-like beds spread out along the walls of a series of spacious open rooms designed for large groups. Number three, Daniel Craig. Craig now has several critically acclaimed movies on his resume, but The Independent reported that the 007 actor waited tables and even slept on park benches early in his career as an actor. Number two, Jewel. Multi-platinum singer Jewel once lived on the streets after her boss fired her because she wouldn't sleep with him, she wrote on her website. I ended up homeless for a year, she says. I kept writing songs and started singing in a local coffee shop called the Interchange Cafe. I developed a loyal following. No one knew I was homeless. She ended up securing a label and making an album that sold 12 million copies, according to her website. Number one. Ella Fitzgerald. She would go on to sing for President Reagan in 1981, but before becoming arguably the finest female jazz singer of all time, Fitzgerald was a homeless teenage runaway until debuting at the Apollo Theater in 1934. Her voice quickly won her fame, and she went on to win 13 Grammy Awards and received medals from President Reagan and George H.W. Bush. She died in 1996, and her face appeared on a U.S. postal stamp in 2007. So, these were 10 people who became wealthy after being homeless. If you liked the video, then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching.